you know, our healthcare system is facing huge challenges, an ageing population, and of course the three billion pounds that were spent on a top-down reorganisation that no one voted for. But we have to make the system work as it is. That means that this CCG has to look at the most um, basic things, whether or not it knows whether the money coming in and the money going out are matching up. I hope that the new management team that's in place um, have got a grip on that, but if they don't, it will be the healthcare outcomes, not just across Bedfordshire, but around the surrounding area that will be affected, and it will be the most vulnerable people that will be hurt. So how would you balance the books then? Well, I think in this case, you've got to get a grip on the finances to start off with. Uh, there's been some welcome steps in the first place, um, but this is not something that is going to go away over the next four or five years. There is a huge pressure on services, and my argument to government is they need to be funding those services appropriately and properly, and based on need, uh, which includes that areas of high deprivation, not just based on arbitrary systems of fairness about each area getting the same amount. Well, the CCG is getting an extra £30 million to spend, so that will help. Yeah, undoubtedly, but uh, we need to make sure that money is going into new services and improved services, Shouldn't not just to go and back fill a black hole. Well, inevitably, they're going to have to pay off this deficit. Um, it's a huge scale, um, which is why we need to, to ask basic questions about the accountability that led the CCG to be here in the first place. This CCG now needs to be in special measures and needs to be looked at by government. I hope if we're making the right steps over the next couple of years, we can turn it around, because if they don't, it will be the outcomes on my constituents and others around me that are most affected.